Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm talking about Kim suk Jin and the military pictures. To preface this all, of course I know that the military posting pictures of Jin is from a quote unquote like official source and people think, oh, it's public so we can share it. But we really shouldn't share it. Okay, and I'm gonna give a couple of reasons. First off, sharing those photos is something that Jin did not want to happen. He told us on Weverse himself that he does not want information about his enlistment to be shared to the public. You can read the Weverse post. There's translations from multiple translators online, Twitter, Tumblr, Reddit, all of it's there. You can find those translations. He does not want it to be shared. So by sharing those photos, you are disrespecting his wishes. Second off, sharing those photos supports the military infrastructure in South Korea. And I don't think I want to be complicit with promoting the military activities of another country when I myself am not South Korean. Now, people who are South Korean have a variety of opinions about military enlistment, but for me myself as an American person, I don't think it is smart to be supporting any type of military industrial complex, even if you are supporting it through a fan lens, because it seems very dubious in that aspect. And very much within the South Korean military, there is military hierarchy, and a lot of the pictures and information about Jin that's being shared with the public is not something that he consents to. He's very much in a position where there are powers above him that are trying to use his influence as a member of BTS to somehow make the Korean military seem acceptable. And really, there is problems within the South Korean military and problems present throughout militaries throughout the world with harassment and power imbalance issues. And many of these conversations are not able to be pushed and happen because now there is a large group of people looking to be entertained by the content from the military about Jin. And it's really unfortunate because these types of conversations are very important to have about military conscription and how a lot of fans view and how a lot of fans view Jin's military enlistment as something that's like, oh, it's fun, it's entertaining. It's not. People are like, oh, I'm a military wife now. Yeah, we made those jokes. Ha ha funny. But you're not an actual military wife, and this is an actual, like, seriously politically entwined type of conversation that a group of fans having could be really enriching and wonderful, but it's not turning out to be like that. Instead, we are having a lot of problems with people sharing the pictures from Jin's enlistment, which they are public, yet just because something is public does not mean we have to share it. Like, if you know where someone lives on the internet, just because it's public information and you can search up their name and you can find it, you shouldn't share it because there are a lot of people in the world who could wish harm upon a person and could actually go and harm that person. So it's not good to share that. Much like how we shouldn't share airport information, we shouldn't share military information. There's some people who also are sharing information about where Jin is stationed, which is in itself really dangerous to do because there are people in the world who want to hurt him. And I think that is a reality that a lot of people are not processing in wanting to be entertained or wanting to consume military content. They're not understanding that it's actually really dangerous that people know where he is. And he can't just leave that place because he is a Korean citizen and he is serving his country and he has to stay there. So it is not the best to be sharing the information, to be spreading the information, and to making it more publicly known. Just because it's publicly available doesn't mean that it needs to be known more by a larger group of people by sharing. So it's important to preserve his safety and also preserve the integrity of the fandom. Because I think many people would feel really awful if they were the reason that something bad were to happen. So it is important to preserve Sokjin's safety and to preserve the integrity of the fandom. It's also important to note as well this whole entire conversation about a military enlistment. I haven't really talked about this because I am not South Korean and I personally do not feel too strongly about it, but when it comes to military conscription, like that's called that's like mandatory military service in South Korea, much of it is due to the fact that South Korea is neighboring North Korea and much of the history behind like the Korean War and the Red Scare and communism and geopolitical issues that are much larger than I can summarize in a 10 minute video but it's important to remember as well like I'm an American person and I very much know that because of America's foreign interventions uh, militarily in South Korea that is causing a lot of tension within the area and I feel like a lot of people don't talk about the American aspect of military conscription they're very angry at like oh the Korean government of course 
there is a lot of frustration with the Korean government right now. A lot of people are not happy with the president's actions and his administration's actions. But it's also important to acknowledge that there is a very large conversation, a very nuanced, a very complex conversation about military intervention, about American military bases in South Korea, and about military conscription in general in any type of country, and the ethics behind military conscription. And all these types of topics kind of come together in this conversation about BTS and enlistment. And when navigating the conversations, it's important to try to educate yourself as much as possible because they are very complex and nuanced and hard to understand conversations too because there's multiple aspects fighting at once when it comes to these. For example, many people don't support military conscription because they find it unethical and they think that people should not submit to it. And there's various reasons for this. There's like things like people not believing in unaliving other people or harming other people like pacifism. And even if they're not a pacifist, they don't believe in harming other people for the sake of the government or a country. And there's some people who do support military conscription because again, South Korea is bordering North Korea and there's a lot of political and military tension between those two countries. South Korea is also a smaller nation and they need a standing military to defend themselves against foreign power. So at the end of the day, this is a very complex conversation and fans trying to insert themselves and try to make entertainment out of military conscription and try to make entertainment out of Jin and his pictures. There's also accounts like sharing what he's eating every day, which is a little too much. Don't do that. We don't need another information because he doesn't want that type of information out there. So it's best to respect his wishes and not share them. And that is from the fan lens aspect of it, from the kind of geopolitical lens of it. We should not be supporting the military hierarchy of South Korea as foreigners. And if you're a South Korean, it's a way different conversation, but as people who are not from the country, I don't feel comfortable showing support for the military of a different country, and even the military of my own country. I have my own qualms with and opinions about, but with a different country, it's very much not our place to kind of support or not support that space. For me personally, I was talking about this and I'm trying to give as much information as possible so that way you think about this yourself and kind of form your own opinions but for me personally I don't approve and don't support military conscription because I do think it is unethical to force people to engage in combat or even practice and train for combat when they do not themselves believe in it or consent to it. And people may be like oh but you could like not go into military conscription by like moving or in People will say that there are options to avoid military conscription, but a lot of those options is not something that is accessible to everyone. And at the end of the day, if you are a male Korean citizen, you have to enlist in the military. And that's something that is forced upon you and not something that you voluntarily do. I have no problem with people who volunteer to join the military and fight for their country. I think there is a lot of pride for some people in that. But I don't agree with the way that is forced upon people through military conscription. And I don't agree with a lot of America's military interventions and the existence of America's military presence within South Korea. But that is a very complex topic. If you want me to talk about it more, I would have to pull up some research and statistics so that way we can have a very thorough conversation about that in a video. But yes, overall, please don't share those photos of Jin. Please don't share information about Jin in the military. He asks us not to do it, so let's respect that, not do it. And also, let's try to think about the kind of implications of us sharing it if we do share it, and of the information that's being spread. Also, in addition to that larger conversation, I'm kind of going to go back to the fan perspective of it. Also, we don't want to be supporting many of the solo stand fan bases that are sharing these photos because solo stands are not armies they're not bts's fans they're random people who decided that for some reason they know better than armies or better than bts themselves and think that they control whatever narrative they want to do we don't support solo stands i am not a solo stand we are ot7 we love all the members we support all the members it is important to remember that solo stands are not armies and they are not our friends, they are not people we should be supporting, and they are not people who are going to support us. They are essentially, this kind of sound me, are they are essentially leeches on the fandom. And they basically take credit for the work that the fandom does, and then gets mad at the fandom for not doing what they want, which is used to something very controlling and demeaning of a member. So instead, what we should strive towards is not supporting solo stands, because many of them are supporting military pictures and sharing information. And we should not allow them to say, oh, it's public information so we can share it. Just because something's public, again, we should not share it. So just like that, let's 
not do that. Let's respect Jin, let's respect each other, and let's continue having nuanced conversations about this situation and understand that everyone comes from different perspectives and all those perspectives are valid. If you want to talk about this more in the comment section, I'll be replying down below. And as always, please remember to stay thoughtful, 